McCutcheon case has been styled, I think rightly, as the next Citizens United to strike our democracy. It is a very different type of law that's under threat, but it is one that's vital to protecting our elections against big money. The law that's at issue are the aggregate contribution limits. This means that everyone has a limit as to how much they can give to an individual candidate or party. However, there's also an overall cap, this is the aggregate limit, on how much an individual can give overall to many candidates and many party committees and many PACs. Uh, the opponents, or those who are challenging the law, like to think that if you separate off your contributions into many small contributions to many different parties or candidates, that this raises no specter of corruption. However, as we, I think, point out in a brief that we filed with the Supreme Court, this is really completely counterfactual. If a single donor is giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to the candidates of one party, or even just to the many committees of one party, they are going to have a massive influence over our democracy. And when you start adding up the amount of money that a contributor could give, even in limited amounts, their uh, totals are absolutely enormous. We're looking at uh, over $1 million to the party of that individual's choice, over $2 million to all the candidates of the party of that individual's choice, and really an infinite <laughs> amount of money that that individual could give to parties, candidates, and all those PACs that are out there uh, operating, perhaps independently, perhaps not, of the parties they support. Uh, so McCutcheon is a big deal, and this law is extremely crucial to protecting our democracy against this type of huge influx of money. And finally, I think McCutcheon is significant because it is really only one part of a much larger campaign going on to strike down or erode all the protections against money in politics. We saw this in Citizens United. We saw the invalidation of limits on corporations that were in place for over 100 years. We saw this in some of the public financing cases that eliminated the most popular state public financing programs. And finally, we are now seeing the attack on contribution limits, the attack on direct giving to candidates. So this is part of a very, very unfortunate and troubling progression of attacks on campaign finance altogether.